Like, so I've been in breaks in there and you're laughing and cracking jokes. And what exactly were you guys saying to each other? Just rude work. In fact, he, I, said, I said he didn't think I was going to come to fucking trade with him, did he? And he laughed like, cause he said I knew he was going to do that to me. And it was, yeah, it was what it was. I didn't have to stand there and just throw bombs with him, you know what I mean? It was, it was a matter of don't the ball, wasn't it? You know, he, was, he was swinging a missing for the second or one. Which... He was trying a lot to get you into that sort of firefight. Yeah, and you remember two, that, yeah. Steve had watched me my whole career. Two years ago, I would have just stood there and pulled and probably got caught on the chin. Yeah, but I ain't done enough. I got good coaches. They all know they're helping me out. So like partner, Shady, Tyler, they all helping me. I'm missing shots, and I, this is the least speed up I've been after. I've got more of a black eye from before the fight than I did during the fight. So you know, it's the least beat up I've ever been, really. Jack, did you see uh, Darren Till's post he put out about after you missed weight and how much respect he had for you? Yeah, amazing, amazing respect he gave me. And I, I, I spoke to him today, and he'll tell about it. Really, he's such a nice guy and a bad guy for all how far he's gone already and uh, it's good of him saying that because not a lot of people know I'm a full-time paratrooper this is my this is my hobby you know what I mean I'm, I'm fighting at the highest level possible in MMA that's being a full-time paratrooper that's my job that's my profession so you know it's, yeah I miss weight by two pounds you know, it happens the best guys who do it full-time every day you know miss weight you know so I, I ain't gonna go and cry about it how depleted did you feel uh, you know during that way but you know else you didn't look like the best one on the scales well, like if, if, it was going amazing until about Wednesday. I thought I didn't think I was having a drama. I was texting my coach all week. I thought, you know, that last day just hit me and it just wouldn't come out. We was in the sauna. We was in the sauna from nine o'clock the one night until one in the morning. And then we was up at six and we was in there until the weigh ins at ten. I just don't know how we did that one, but you know, I was going to learn from it. And I'm leaving the army like in November, so I'll be able to do this as actually like full time athlete. You know, so, yeah. What's that decision? I was going to anyway, I've done my 12 years now, that's, um, you know, I wanted to get my arm pension, like, so when I punched drunk and like a wheelchair <laughs> now, I sent fall back on. Yeah. Does that take the pressure off, you know? What's that? Does that take the pressure off you going in on five week, the fact, you know, you look at mixed martial arts as a hobby at the moment, or what way do you look at that? Yeah, it's going, mate. Um, yeah, cheers, mate, thank you. Yeah, um, not, not really, not really. I, like, I, I go into every fight, it doesn't, like, from the smallest shows to the biggest shows makes no difference to me. I'll, I'll go out there and have a fight. You know? I, I fought different tonight, but I fought clever. I fought like a mixed martial artist, not, not a brawler. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Like, Do you think the full time training then will make a, a huge difference to you going forward? Yeah, you know, this year you can't teach all dogs and tricks. I only hit my 30s yet. I've had, I've, had more, I've had more professional fights than I've had birthdays. So it's like I'm, I'm, I'm learning every, every day. I'm one final one for me. And um, Wales in the Grand Slam today. Yeah. And obviously, too happy. happy I'm glad it's not that last, the last <laughs> try in the minute, man. Piss me. We was looking for the 25 nil, man. Yeah, you're right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen, but yeah, you're obviously you're pleased about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure half of the crowd. I was right, and that's why they booed, because I'm a sort of drunk. <laughs> so now you're going to obviously be, be training full time now. Yeah, November ish. I'm, 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 I'm training with a boxing team, so I'm, like, I've got my coach from Box Team Yard. Yeah, yeah. I train a lot anyway, but but it just gives me the freedom to do it properly, you know. How active do you want to be then as a, as a full-time UFC fighter? Yeah, well, like I said, I ain't that old, but I ain't that young either, so you're yeah, pretty active, really, as best I can. Yeah. How, how soon do you want to get back in there? Um, I got. I literally got work that out with the army. That's 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 like I'm contract legally. I'm contracted the army. They, they sort of told me I wasn't fighting this weekend on Thursday. So like I was like packing my bags, running away. Like, but um, <laughs> yeah, the um, yeah. I don't know. I work it out with the army. They'll see what they want to do. Is you can't be employed by two people at the same time if you understand. So. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. How did you work that? Out? Yeah. How did I work? Well? Right, if, if the army weren't letting you fight on Thursday. <laughs> Well, let's find out on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How crazy is our how, how crazy are army leaving dudes gonna be then? So you mean, yeah, I don't mind. Leaving dude coming out. What's that gonna be like? Yeah, I don't mind. It'd be pretty good. Paras uh, drinking social well, sessions are pretty mental anyway. So we'll see. <laughs> Tim Kennedy used to talk about being in the army. He said that you know what he experiences out there it means there's nothing in the cage that's gonna phase him. Do you feel the same? Yeah, but I've also heard him say the exact same as me. You can't transition from anything from the army in Afghanistan and all that into, into fighting the kids. One got a gun, one got a gun, just trying to punch you, you know, they're trying to kill him, so it makes, it makes no difference. I give you, give you a bit of mental robustness, that's all I could take from it as well. You seem incredible, you know, you seem really cheated up by this win. How, how important was it to get a W? Like, and, and, and it's great that we were all dubbing for the King of Wales. Yeah. So we were yeah, talking yeah, to the King of Wales. Yeah, well, 
But we've you know, I've, I've, I've decided I'm leaving the army to fight full time. And you know, if I'd have lost this fight, that's three hundred pounds. I probably would have been cut. That's like twelve-year army career. I just gave up for fuck all, really. You know, I'm back fighting on the small shows. So obviously, it means it means world to me. You know, it means I I got, I got a young daughter and I you know, I'm going to carry on doing what I'm doing. But I have got a safety net of my pension and my resettlement and doing other courses. So yeah, best of all for me, just Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much.